A company that runs casinos and bingo halls across the province is looking to hit the slot machine jackpot here in Victoria. Documents obtained under the Freedom of Information under a Freedom of Information request show that Playtime Community Gaming Centers has been talking to Victoria City officials to open up a gaming center, offering it hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. A News reporter Stephen Andrew joins us now with more on the story. Stephen? Eric, this isn't the first time that Victoria has been asked to consider approving slot machines within its city limits, and it probably isn't the last. But at this point, the odds of winning the lottery are perhaps better than Victoria Council allowing the one on bandits. For the people who play slot machines, the gamble is what money goes in will hopefully hit the jackpot. For gaming centers, such as View Royals Casino, they are a big money maker, not only for the companies that run the casinos, but also for the municipalities where the machines are located. And Playtime Community Gaming Centers that runs the Tillicum Road Bingo Center is hoping the draw of hundreds of thousands of dollars will convince Victoria Council to allow slot machines inside its city limits. In documents obtained by Public Eye Online, Playtime Gaming is looking to relocate its bingo center in Saanich and convert it into a community gaming center in Victoria. In a proposal to the city of Victoria, Playtime Gaming says the BC Lottery Corporation says there is an unserviced market demand for such a center. And the company has exclusive rights to locate one in Victoria. BC Lottery Corporation says there is a demand for a community gaming center in the Capital Regional District, but any agreement should not be interpreted as exclusive to the city of Victoria. The Crown Corporation says any approval would have to receive local government approval. We recognize that there is some revenue that comes into the city of Victoria on that, the estimate five hundred dollars to $700,000 per 100 slot machines. But clearly there's uh, the offsetting costs of both direct and indirect costs of social services. So it's not really something I'm personally interested in, not something I think is of any benefit to the city of Victoria. If Victoria allows slot machines within city limits, the company that runs the View Royal Casino would not look favorably on that. After spending millions to expand this facility, they're not looking forward to any competition. We're very proud of our facility and feel it meets the needs uh, for, for uh, Vancouver Island residents in the uh, southern region. Uh, with that said, if uh, we felt there was the need for uh, uh, additional gaming, obviously we would look at our license that's currently in advance for the city of Victoria. With millions of tourist dollars pouring into Greater Victoria every year, it's a market casino operators are carefully watching. The key is locating gambling close to where the tourists arrive. For now, a majority of the city of Victoria politicians believe View Royal is close enough. Now, Playtime Gaming did not offer a comment for our report tonight. Meantime, the great Canadian casino company says they're pretty confident that another casino will not open in the greater Victoria area. But this doesn't seem to be the end of the story, Eric, because as we uh, saw in our report, uh, the BC Lottery Corporation says they are looking for the possibility of more gaming centers in the Capital Regional District. So it doesn't look like this will be the end of the debate. We'll see. Thank you, Stephen. You're welcome. Stephen Andrew reporting.